$2,400 boosts to Social Security, SSI, SSDI, SSA, low-income individuals. There are currently three proposals on the table right now to completely modify the Social Security system, increase the benefits, and extend the solvency so everyone can receive full benefits. I'm going to get you caught up on the latest. Now, take a look at some of these headlines, you guys. And as you know, I put them on the screen, read right from them. I cite them down below in the description so you can see that it's the latest. Reported by Pennsylvania groups, they find that assessing Social Security disability benefits is too difficult. Now, let me know if you agree in the comments down below. If you collect SSDI, is it extremely difficult? Is it? <laughs> I already know a lot of people say it's not enough, but then also to access them and to get a hold of the system, do you think that it's too difficult? Well, there are currently three proposals on the table to modify the entire system. Here's one of them. As you can see, we're going to be covering these. This one came out July 2022. Uh, this one is known as the Protecting and Preserving Social Security Act. Uh, we're gonna be covering some of the details of this. This one came out from Hawaii. Here's another one that came out from Bernie Sanders back in June 9th of 2022. This is the Social Security Expansion Act that will increase benefits by $2,400 a year, which will be $200 payouts per month and extend the solvency for 75 years. And the third one that I mentioned that is on the table right now in Congress for consideration, the Social Security 2100 Act, a sacred trust. And this one also wants to modify the system, adjust the COLA to match those that are collecting the benefits, spending habits, not just anybody's. And we're hearing a lot of these could happen right now. As Take a look at this, you guys. Uh, can Senator Joe Manchin save a broken Social Security and Medicare system? Senator Joe Manchin has indicated his willingness to reach across the aisle and work with Republicans on reforming the Social Security and Medicare programs. This just coming out this month, November 2022. His recent comments indicate that that he will work with the GOP to work on improving solvency while also taking action to reduce national debt. And we're hearing they want to get this done before the end of the year, before the new Congress rolls in. They're trying to get some things done. And also, I mentioned to you in a previous video, child tax credits. We're hearing are back on the table. They're trying to get that done before 2023 as well. Now, let me know your thoughts because we've heard these promised for quite some time. It's been about two years now. We've heard about $2,000 fourth stimulus checks to everybody in the nation, child tax credits, social security increases, free childcare, free college tuition, and assortment of different things. Do you think that they're finally going to get things done? Or do you think they're gonna drag this out even further? Uh, well, right now we're seeing actions taken that we have not seen in quite some time. So I'm gonna get you caught up on the latest as some version of likely one of these three or several of these three bills is going to be coming to fruition, we're hearing. And also, as mentioned in these previous articles that I just showed you, uh, there needs to be some changes made. The solvency is coming to an end. Those that collect these benefits, uh, they need some sort of enhancement and modifications to the benefits. And if something isn't done soon, they will not be able to collect the full amount that they are to receive. The solvency is going to be running out. So let's dive right in, get you caught up on the latest. Hit subscribe to stay up to date. I'll keep you up to date on this and all the stimulus provisions that are currently available, including checks on every single level. And I've got a list of over 100 different stimulus check programs that are available at www.reliefroadmap.com. So if you're interested, that's available. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of these articles. All right, so first one up, report by Pennsylvania Group finds assessing Social Security disability benefits is too difficult. Though field offices have reopened for in-person services, there continues to be obstacles for people seeking Social Security disability benefits. The report blames years of underfunding compounded with lengthy pandemic-related office closures for the hardships of assessing Social Security disability insurance and supplemental security income as well. Two of the major benefit programs for people with disabilities. The Social Security Administration has issued over half a million fewer SSI awards than if it had continued at pre pandemic rates, according to reports. This sharp decline has disproportionately impacted black and brown people. Nowhere have SSI recipients been hit harder than Pennsylvania, which saw the largest percentage of decline of all 50 states, with SSI awards falling over 26% from 2019 to 2020, according to the report. SSI and SSDR are critical lifelines for millions of people with disabilities, but more than a decade of underfunding has made it extraordinarily difficult 
for people with disabilities to access the social security benefits that they need to survive. When people apply for benefits, they can't reach the Social Security Administration for help over the phone or in person, and SSA staff often lack adequate training or customer service skills. Nationally, nearly half of all the calls to SSA go unanswered. Wow. Now scrolling down here are some of the issues they say. Claimants cannot readily reach the SSA for assistance. People with limited English cannot access benefits or services. Reporting income to the agency is unnecessarily difficult and inadequate training leads to staff wrongfully denying some benefits. So they're saying major changes are needed. Now, as I had mentioned, there are currently three different proposals on the table to modify the OASDI trust fund that could run dry by 2035. Now, here are the three proposals. Now, one of the bills that was proposed in July was from U.S. Senator Mazzie Hirano and U.S. House Republican Representative Member Ted Dutch. The Protecting and Preserving Social Security Act was introduced after initially being proposed in 2019. So as I mentioned, these are all coming back right now. The bill proposed to push out the depletion of the OASDI until 2052 and reduce the federal budget deficit by $12.3 trillion over the next 75 years. A big way the bill plans to do this is by phasing out the benefit base or maximizing the amount that earning people pay Social Security tax on. Currently, that limit is $147,000, although it will rise to $160,200 next year. So increasing the amounts that can be taxed to go to Social Security. The bill also aims to improve the fairness of Social Security program by having the annual cost of living adjustment, or COLA, calculated in a way that more accurately considers the expenses that are more common in retirees' lives. This would increase the annual COLA adjustment, as opposed to having it right now set up to regular workers. Another bill proposed this year to further fund the program is the Social Security Expansion Act, which is being sponsored by Senator Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, and House Representative Peter DeFazio. The bill proposes to extend the solvency of the trust fund by 75 years, similar to the previous bill by raising the benefit base to 250000 The bill also proposed to raise Social Security benefits by $200 per month and also to require individual millionaires and billionaires to pay a 12.4% tax rate up from the current 6.2% individual rate and equivalent to Social Security taxes that self-employed workers currently pay. And the third bill is called the Social Security 2100 Act, a sacred trust. The bill is authorized by John Larson, Chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee and Social Security Subcommittee. The bill also has 200 co-sponsors in the House as well. So a lot of these have a lot of backing and they're saying that these will likely come to the forefront and we could be hearing a lot about these over the course of the next month or so as we reach the year's end. So here are the actual bills, and I will link all these in the description below for you so you can see them for yourself. These are from their official websites, from those that released these proposed bills. Uh, and if you want to go through all of the descriptions, the details, uh, they're available to you, and you can see which one is the, the best solution in your opinion. So here is the first one, Protecting and Preserving Social Security. Here's the one from Bernie Sanders. I've covered this one quite a bit because it has that promise from President Joe Biden of increasing the benefits by $200 a month or $2,400 for the year, along with extending the solvency and also the Social Security 2100 Act. And this one has a ton of modifications to the system. By far, the Social Security Expansion Act and the 2100 Act have gotten a lot more publicity, a lot of press, uh, because of some of the reforms that they want to include. So this one increases the benefits. You can see all of the things that it does. Uh, strengthens the trust fund. Um, so there's an assortment of different bullet points that you can go through if you like. Again, these are all linked in the description below. And also, I mentioned to you that just recently, Senator Joe Manchin said that he's willing to work with Republicans, and he thinks if there's anything that they can get done before the end of the year with this Congress, it's modifications to Social Security, and we're hearing child tax credits are back as well, and we have uh, bipartisan support. Republicans and Democrats both say child tax credits, they need to come back. Now, if you'd like to get more information on that, be sure to check out this video right here. I get you caught up on the latest. And also check out my channel for updates on stimulus checks and other updates on Social Security. We just had that one-time $1,400 Thanksgiving call. I got you an update on that as well. So do me a favor before you check those out. Smash the like button. Hit subscribe to stay up to date. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.